lawmakers in the lower chamber converge for the second plenary session of the week. Free House receives a petition on compensation for host communities by oil companies. I have a petition by Prince Martin Solomon FL against Mobile Producing Nigeria Unlimited, which is a subsidiary of ExoMobile Corporation, for non payments of compensation of the victims of oil spillage in Andoni River State and Akwaibo State, respectively. Right, Honorable Speaker, Mr. Solomon is only asking this has to intervene for him to get justice. Honorable Jeremiah Umaru then draws the attention of Parliament to concerns surrounding the remitter platform of the federal government through which the Treasury single account is operated. I read that over 8.7 trillion naira have been processed through the platform before the deployment of the software. The Nigerian government had over 15,000 bank accounts operated by ministries, departments, and agencies. The proliferation of accounts has moved for, from deposit money banks to central banks, to central bank of Nigeria, allowing MDs to create multiple sub-accounts, thereby negating the TSA policy of the federal government. The Committee on Public Accounts is mandated to carry out an investigation and report back within four weeks. Next, the House considers a motion on the need to halt the increase in prices of cable TV subscription. These unacceptable and arbitrary increments by the multi-choice Nigerians represented the second price hikes within the last six months. And the first one is 1st of May 2023, and the second one is 6th of November 2023, coming amid the prevailing economy hardship as a crusading property in the country. Mr. Speaker, the House resolved that all the Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy to intervene, halt and reverse the increments in DSTV and Good TV carried by the multi-choice groups. The House for the mandated Committee on Communications to interface with multi-choice group to address regiment increase in tariff. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News.